All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Uh, starting my video a little bit late because I woke up a bit late because I went to bed kind of early yesterday. The problem is I had trouble sleeping last night. Like my right foot was just numb and giving me so many problems. Not exactly sure why. I don't normally have that problem. Uh, so that was keeping me up at uh, at night. So I wound up sleeping more than I wanted to. But oh well, that's why I got free time. So anyway. Uh, I guess we got uh, quite a bit of interesting stuff to read, so we'll just get right into it. Um, apparently, uh, the coronavirus might actually become a lot worse, simply because two-thirds of Congress actually apparently got infected uh, by coronavirus by the people who were in APAC, and um, so now everyone's infected, uh, including the government p uh, people. So, so now, have you ever doubted that the globalists you know, not that I was getting any pushback on this, but you've ever doubted that globalists want to, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's coronavirus. It, it's not, it's just a cough. Um, whatchamacallit, if they don't want to find a cure for it, now they have to, because now t potentially two-thirds of Congress can now die from coronavirus. And uh, it disproportionately affects older people, which is pretty much most of Congress. <laughs> so you can imagine what's going to uh, happen. Uh, and uh, I can't say much more than that because, again, terms of service by YouTube. But let's just say that God's working his will right now. Uh, so if you are corrupt, if you are sinful, if you are a duplicitous, lying F word, uh, you're going to get what you deserve. And, um, well, maybe next time you ought to put uh, the loyalty of America uh, first and, you know, actually, you know, protect American citizens. Because because you didn't do that. Now we have this coronavirus kind of rampaging throughout the whole world and now in America and, um, well, a lot of people are going to get infected, right? I mean, because we don't even have the testing kits for coronavirus, right? Because our government is run by, you know, retards, right? Because it was all about equality and, you know, whatever XYZ group writes instead of saying, hey, maybe we should hire the person who's the best, who's got the high IQ and aptitude to do whatever the job is, right? Whether it's scientific work, biology or you know logistics or whatever right no let's just give it to the group because they, they've been oppressed well now so th that's why we're in the trouble we're in now because we put a bunch of retards in charge of everything because of more diversity so it'll be good to see uh, uh the idiots getting punished unfortunately it is going to induce a massive panic so uh we'll, we'll have to see uh so uh, i only read up the headline i didn't read the uh, dissident right article about it so you know that's why we're going to get right into it and then i can go back and do the research so anyway uh bitcoin searches for this week is still settling down at 10. all right going to google <coughs> uh bit okay i have to refresh this because oh, okay so it's still so it's actually still kind of going up and down but bitcoin's still holding steady at 91.30 uh bitcoin downs is at 63.1 24-hour volume is even lower at 124.5 billion uh, daily volume. So basically everyone's just, you know, doing the safe bet and hunkering down like they should. Because uh, this virus shit's pretty bad. Uh, let's see, I don't want to fear monger, right? Because it's really not that bad. But it's starting to affect, like, top people. It's, it's quite ironic, right? All the leaders that have been shitting on us plebeians. Now, they're the ones getting, you know, whacked one by one. Right. Um, three major leaders in Iran have already died from coronavirus as of like a few days ago. So it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nutty. It's pretty nutty. Right. Litecoin's at 62.87. Oh, yeah, I think. Uh, let's see. Coronavirus New York. Let's see. I think we're up to 45 now. Uh, this number is constantly going up. Right. But I mean, uh, Mayor Cuomo, that's the governor of our um of uh, New York State, our gardener. He actually said to expect this thing to go up because now we're testing people, so we're going to try to find out who's who infected or whatever. So 45 under mandatory quarantine, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's, like, what's insane is one of the uh, Jewish lawyers that was working in Upper Manhattan in Washington Heights, uh, he's working in Manhattan in Washington Heights, right? Now, what's interesting is black people seem to be resistant to this disease, so right underneath Washington Heights is actually Harlem. So funny enough, they might actually be keeping us alive, uh, ironically, right? Because if they get the virus, I mean, they might still get infected, but they, their bodies might be much better equipped genetic-wise to just, you know, get rid of the virus and shit. So that actually might protect uh, Manhattan, really all of New York City, from getting infected. 
of course, if you're not black, uh, you know, especially if you're Asian, well, I mean, <laughs> uh, that might be a different story because, you know, we're much more susceptible to the disease. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be kind of nutty. It's going to be kind of nutty. All right. Oh, and, and then like they were kind of moving around. I mean, they, they managed to find, figure it out pretty quickly. So they're all self-quarantining. Self-quarantining. Wow, let's try saying that word fast 10 times. So I think we'll still be all right, but I mean, we really should be shutting down like the schools and like, we really should just be shutting everything down. I don't know why we still are like moving out and about, all right? You know, it's like, you know, right now I'm fine, but you know, someone's going to have fucking coronavirus and walk into my neighborhood, right? You know, so <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, it's stupid, right? And then I was listening to Nick Fuentes yesterday and he said like part of it is probably because the government just doesn't want the economic fallout and the panic. Uh, from shutting everything down, right? That's what happens when you put money above, you know, God, right? You know, Donald Trump is actually doing something really fucking retarded, right? Cause, and it's an election year, so he doesn't want to lose the election, which actually makes sense because things will also be worse if he loses the election. So, you know, Trump's like caught between a rock and a hard place, but that still doesn't excuse the fact that, you know, this is retarded, right? We should be shutting shit down. We should be shutting down schools. I was reading an article that even said high school students, especially or junior high school students, they're all pretty worried about the coronavirus. Like they're all, they all know they're in proximity contact. Like why aren't we shutting anything down? And they, um, I think it was Edward R. Murrow. It's a pretty famous school here in New York City. Uh, those kids, like they had a trip during February twenty third to twenty, like the the week of that, right at the outbreak of you know the coronavirus in Italy. So they said there's no cause for alarm and they're not under uh, mandatory quarantine, but why are they not under quarantine? Like now you want to infect the entire, it's like, you know, we're, we're run by a bunch of fucking idiots, right? It might, you know, get a lot of people killed, including me. So, and, but believe it or not, me just leaving doesn't really help. Cause I just read that two people, two old people died in Florida. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, well. Oh, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, people are, uh, the markets are going to continue to go down. Well, this is actually in too bad, right? The stock market only went down like 1% on Friday. Um, and people were already kind of pricing in like coronavirus uh, as well. So we're just going to have to see what happens. Now, if a bunch of people in the U.S. Congress itself, because they attended APAC and everyone got infected, uh, yeah, um, it's over. Uh, it's like everyone's going to be panicking, not me, of course, hopefully not you, but fortunately, based on the comments that I see on my bit shoot, uh, you know, some people are panicking. It's like you, you, you haven't learned anything from it, uh, which is unfortunate, right? You know, there's a reason why I keep saying you should go to God, find God first, right? So that way you don't start panicking and think clearly, right? And I'm not perfect on that either. I still get angry, right? Like, I don't know, like, I really have to do something about like this, you know, uh my anger towards like the fake right right but i mean on the other hand yeah i mean they are causing all this stuff too so that's what makes it even harder but the point is you know you know i've got my issues too but uh it's like i, I don't want to summarize it but you know you're not supposed to be actually yeah, i don't want to go into my bid shoe but you're not supposed to be panicking all right you're supposed to hunker down have your supplies and then just wait this shit out and if you have spare money like i do dollar cost average and keep buying right but a little bit at a time right especially if congress really does have coronavirus then you can expect a full i mean something worse than a correction where like everything's gonna just start tanking right you know just imagine the panic that's going to be induced when the headlines all say two-thirds of u.s congress confirmed infected with coronavirus what do you think that's going to do the entire world's going to go to complete shit uh, at that point right Hey, but you know what? I'll buy I'll buy a Microsoft stock at a dollar. <laughs> yeah, sign me up. I don't give a shit, right? So uh, yeah, and then uh, it's like you know, oh yeah. So the guy that was complaining was like, "Why is Bitcoin not going up when everything else is going down? This is bullshit, corrupt." It's like, no, you fucking idiot. You didn't listen to any of my videos, right? Bitcoin is going up or staying neutral compared to the markets going straight down. You're up a lot, you dumbass. All right. And on top of that, why are you using my content to do short term trading? You're supposed to be buying and holding for the next few years. That's what I've been saying this since like two, three years now. All right. And I formalized it in my like, did you even watch this video that on my on my fucking Twitter? 
uh, which is not showing up here for some reason. Uh, oh, I accidentally, oh my god. All right, hold on, I better actually fix this. That's actually bad. Uh, let's see, because I had to private a lot of my videos uh, just to, just in case I had some, cause, uh, cause I was hiding my political stuff on the, uh, banned YouTube account, which, I mean, the strike should be gone, but I'm trying to remember, where did I put this one? Okay, should be the one named Johnson Chan. Now, I need to go to my video channel. Uh, okay, let me actually just grab the URL. All right, so go, go watch this video. Once I re-enable the privacy on it. Uh, no thanks. Uh, edit video. Now I want to set this to public. Uh, public. There we go. Save. Alright, change is saved. Switch back account to GMC Radio. Alright, we should be Tamaguchi here. Alright, go watch this video that I... Will you get out of my face? April 3rd, 2019. You know, but I've actually been saying this for a much longer time. All right, it's pinned on my um, Twitter here. All right. Oh, come on. It's still doing that, really? All right. All right, well, that, that's just how it goes. Oh, and who's afraid of coronavirus? Not O.J. Simpson. All right. And he's already stocking up on his supplies. Also, he's really rich, so he actually has the real uh, uh, N995 mask. That's what that is. It's not the shitty, like, standard mask. Um, so, plus he was a professional, uh, football player and he's black, so he's very resistant to coronavirus. So, you know, uh, you know, I, I really warmed up to OJ Simpson, you know, he's like such a, he's such a nice, like grateful guy and after all the crap he did. That's the interesting thing though. Did he really kill, you know, what's her face and Ronald Goldman? I can't even remember the woman's name, Nicole something. Yeah. But, oh, well. Well, that's just how it goes. Uh, so what was I kind of getting at? Oh yeah, so just yeah, just just calm down. Don't fucking panic. Don't dump your crypto and then stop complaining about you know shit. No, nothing's gonna be fucking going up. All right, as long as coronavirus continues to tank, human psychology is just gonna panic. All right, they're gonna dump everything at fire sale prices, and that's when you buy shit. I mean, do you honestly think we're all gonna die from coronavirus? No, the odds of it is like close to zero, all right? Because 80% of the time, and they've been stressing this, it will self-resolve with self-quarantine with no hospitalization, right? But yes, the mortality rate seems to fluctuate between 1.8 to 3.3%. So, you know, uh, your, your odds of survival are still pretty high, right? If it was like a 50% for fatality rate, well, then yeah, you should probably be really worried. But like dope right it's like like you're like you gotta put god first so you don't become an emotional like asshole loser all right yeah i can't say the word i really want to say but yes all right and on top of that you know men should not be losing emotional control it's like like what's wrong with you you're, you're a beta male cuck like stop doing that all right if you don't stop doing it you will never be rich you will never enter the kingdom of god because you won't even be aware that there's something wrong with you Right. And then you'll be separated from, you know, the tree of, you know, life and all that stuff. So don't do that. Anyway, Bitcoin is at 9130. Uh, Litecoin's at 6287. We're at 13 minutes. Oh, so much for a quick uh, dive into this. But I figure I have to address it because I'm starting to notice uh, more shit on my bit shoot comments and it's like starting to get annoying to me. You know, uh, dog coins at 302 million market cap. Um, Steam is at 21.30 cents. This is like the only crypto that's doing well. But that's because the Steam is, uh, and I've been trying to buy up Steam. Actually, I had been buying up Steam. So Steam has been doing pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm currently focusing my efforts on. Because I really want to buy something. But I'm already tapped on my stock market account. So I think, you know what, I'll just buy up Steam. Right? I calculate if I want like $100 worth of Steam every day through the dlease.io, I'm going to need approximately 300,000 Steam. So, uh, you know, that's all, that's, a, uh, that's like, what, 60 grand right now, right? Yeah, so minus whatever pitiful amount of Steam that I have. It's not pitiful, but it's not exactly, uh, you know, big Johnson Chan numbers. 
you know, not yet anyway. Uh, excuse me, I gotta burp so that I don't get my hiccups. I don't even know why I burp. I don't even eat anything. I just drink water when I wake up and I do my video. I always eat after I do my videos. Right. Plus, it's still early in the morning, so I want to make sure my body has a little more time to keep burning away my body fat. I've been pretty good at keeping my body uh, consuming around, I mean, losing around three to 600 calories a day. Uh, so yesterday might have been a little exception because I was eating a little bit too much of the peanut butter chocolate ice cream. Uh, so, uh, But I still lifted weights yesterday, so I'm still like down quite a few hundred calories yesterday, so I'm still pretty good on that. But you know, I really need to accelerate my weight loss. Um, JMC is at four to five, no real changes here. Uh, well, no, it was up to six at one point yesterday or two days ago or something like that. 404 coins also doing pretty well. This thing's all over the place. It's at five to six now, so that's very good. Uh, in fact, there's massive buys at six. So that means I got, oh, that means my five, that means my five order got sold out. So you know what? Um, I'm going to probably put my order at six now and then just enjoy uh, the thing. So right now, cryptocurrencies are doing very well, especially compared to everyone else. Um, however, I don't know what's going to happen if, uh, again, coronavirus is confirmed infected two-thirds of the U.S. Congress. Uh, basically, everybody who attended the APAC conference. So again, if that is confirmed or, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, all bets are off. Um, in fact, I would probably start recommending at that specific point to not buy anything and wait for the panic to trash like i definitely expect like 80 70 percent correction uh in fact i expect like something really bad uh like basically everyone will just start dumping everyone's just gonna want cash they're gonna go full walking dead mode uh and then that's it um and of course oh god forbid someone dies from coronavirus and they're a u.s congressman or congresswoman well uh <laughs> All I have to say is get right with God. That's all. That's the only workable solution. Don't buy anything at that point, and then um, just wait for me to confirm what I'm going to be buying. Um, in fact, I'll probably start putting money. Uh, I'll actually probably. I might actually even consider putting in like five hundred to a couple thousand dollars into my stock market account as cash, and then just start buying at Microsoft for like a dollar. Or hell, if I could buy MRRL for like two bucks, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Um, let's see, two by two is at 68 to 73, so it's doing very well. Uh, so, so far we're doing pretty well cryptocurrency wise. Um, Capcom coin is kind of an odd little fish here. Um, so someone's buying up a lot of compound coins. So I guess I'm going to try to maybe put an order somewhere around 7,000. So we'll just say right now it's 5,200 to 10,000 Satoshis of a dog coin. Um, you know, compound coins, pretty stable. Uh, it's also very hard to mint coins now, even if you do the full uh, 100 million, uh, 100 million, 100 million compound coin block uh, per block for minting. It's still very hard to mint. So, you know, prices will stabilize quite nicely. All right, let's get into the news. So uh, we're not going to read this article, but retail. Actually, I probably do want to read this because I want to see how they're doing it technically. You know, now that I'm doing programming and working on the game, I took the day off yesterday from programming. Today, I think I'll do a little bit, and then because like my brain's really burnt out, which sucks because I really just want to make the game, but I'm not. I can't start until I go through all the material. Retail giants, Nike, Macy's, blah, 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 is going to use blockchain tech to combat fakes. Uh, I guess now I don't really care, but uh, we created a chain integration project uh, to produce data share between supply chain partners between like these three big companies. Uh, this allows them to see data up and down supply in order to come counterfeiting, settle disputes, and slow inventory shrinking. Well, I, I don't do retail, so I don't know how this works. Oh, wow, total counterfeiting globally has reached 1.2 trillion. Uh, wow, counterfeits is actually worth a lot of money. 1.2 to 1.82 trillion dollars per year. Uh, oh, the total amount. Oh, okay. So from 2017 to 2020, uh, it's going to be expected to be 1.82 trillion dollars in fake counterfeits. Wow. Well, I mean, I don't know how this will help with China because, like, China is just the Chinese people in China are just going to continue counterfeiting. Like, they, they're just not going to give a shit. So, all right. Well, that's that's good. Oh wait, actually, I did mention China. 
Eight, yeah, it's exactly what I'm saying. 80% of the world's fake goods come from China. <laughs> but I guess if you detect the fake, I assume that they'll just destroy it or break it down for parts. Right? I assume that's what they're going to probably do. And then China, and the Chinese counterfeiters won't get anything. You know, which is fine. All right? You know, that's how karma works. French court issues historic Bitcoin rule. It says world's leading crypto. It's fungible, tangible asset, just like money. Uh, so France has generally been very pro cryptocurrency, and they solidified it legally now. So at least there's one thing France is doing correct, uh, even though they're having full on riots and coronavirus is just like if you actually see screenshots of what's going on in France, it looks exactly like something out of uh, Resident Evil. Uh, let's see, France coronavirus. Let me see if they're actually posting the pictures of it uh because they have like the hazmat suit guys and then you see actual police officers in full like resident evil gas max shit uh let's see let me see if they're showing it um all right they're not showing they're they're sh they're showing just something different here yeah it, it's just the protest they're not even showing the coronavirus mask stuff but they they have them they have the masks I guess I guess, <clears throat> I guess uh, France must have told Google to delete all the pictures or something. Uh, so yeah. But anyway, French court says Bitcoin loans qualify as consumer loans. Coin to blah 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 blah, and they are legal tender. The decision is based on a dispute between French crypto trade and English financial blah blah blah. Um, they took out a loan of a thousand Bitcoin. And after Bitcoin forked in August 1st, 2017, creating Bitcoin Cash, a new crypto. Okay, uh, Bitcoin returned the one thousand without interest. However, in twenty seventy, plan asked Bitcoin to return the Bitcoin cash from the hard fork, totaling. Yeah, they're supposed to do that <clears throat> because it belongs to them. Like <clears throat> the court rejected Paymium's position. It said it ordered Paymium to release fifty three Bitcoin that they had locked in the account. Paper was also ordered to pay forty two Bitcoin as interest and one hundred k euros in repayment of a loan. I guess that's approximately the cost and damages of not getting uh, Bitcoin Cash. Uh, when we lend Bitcoin and when we borrow it as a consumer loan, which obliges us to return the same quality and quantity and therefore makes the borrower bear the risks or benefit from the fruits. This also applies Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and our crypto. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You don't get to make the customer take all the risk, but then you keep all their like rewards. That's the point of a loan. <laughs> so... I'm glad the French court actually stuck it to this greedy piece of shit uh, bank, Paymium, uh, and, made, and made them pay. I mean, of course, like, would, would this apply in the United States? Eh, I don't know. Like, America is still pretty corrupt, but I guess coronavirus is going to see to it that <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore. So, And then, of course, it legitimizes cryptocurrency as money, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and this article also says Paymium and Bitcoin have two months to appeal the decision. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. You know, this is very good for us. Uh, a, a, a win for the good guys, a win, a, a, a strike against the greedy, evil banks. And uh, yeah, it's all pro cryptocurrency. So uh, very, it's, it's very, very good news in uh, these trying times. Bitcoiners take aim at tech giant petition calls for a U.S. cent to subpoena Google. Uh, well, uh, where were you when us conservatives were getting banned off of, uh, all, all these social media tech platforms? You know, you're late to the party. Members of the crypto community are pushing back against crypto. They say the tech channel wants to censor Bitcoin crypto news apps while also de-platform crypto contributors on YouTube. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, of course they're on change.org, which is totally worthless. Uh, Peter's probably the hashtag for Google is calling for a Google boycott for a company as it appears shift to an alternative sound browser and video sharing sites such as Steam and Brave. Uh, why aren't they also mentioning BitChute? Oh, actually, BitChute's technically not decentralized, at least not yet. Uh, but the thing is, Steam it just does not work. It just like it like if you go to DTube, it constantly just sucks. The <clears throat> campaign also helps draw more attention to Bitcoin, Gauge, Google, and subsidiary YouTube and discussion about the need to support crypto. Google recently removed crypto central apps made a mask and Bitcoin blast. We will pay and also stop several, uh, several uh, uh, for inappropriate. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think when I was covering, yeah, but I remember when I was covering uh, this topic, uh, Bit uh, Bitcoin, Google was going after like Bitcoin channels that seemed to be promoting scams. Uh, so that was, that's kind of like the source of the, con uh, of the tension. But the problem is it also uh, included a lot of legitimate Bitcoin content, you know, so... 
Yeah. So then, then of course, Google's kind of like uh, they don't really get in a not in a they're in a not give a shit mode anymore. So they're just banning everybody because nobody can do anything to them. And it's for now. Uh, Coin doctors for Google campaign tag sensory Bitcoin apps, da -da -da -da, blockchain. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Google organizing they'll push back community events. Yeah, anti-market behavior, digital militarism, and, oh, that's a new term, digital militarism, that's true, and informational discrimination. We shall actively engage in community events, pursuing the goal of ending Google's pressure on the industry. Um, and then here's the stupid petition. Yes, I, I fucking hate these websites, I seriously do. So now, what is the time step on this? 25, uh, 25.30, we'll just say 25.30. Now I have to waste an additional fucking like 10 minutes to have shot cut uh, remove this fucking portion uh, 2530 but anyway it was 211 uh, petitions out of 500 so of course nobody gives a shit uh, 2530 let me double check okay yeah because before when I used to have to edit these videos I never took down the timestamp that I needed to remove and I realized where in the video do I have to cut because it's like 20 seconds out of like a 40 minute video I was like oh this is such a pain in the ass Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not even going to put this in the title. Well, A, it's going to piss off Google, and B, it's not even worth it because no one even gives a shit, right? As is evidenced by the petition. French court issues historic Bitcoin ruling, says world's leading crypto. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I was reading it. I was looking for a thumbnail. Um, now we can X that out. Uh, yeah, I don't really like any of these. Okay, I guess we'll just use the French thing because that's probably what's going to be on the thing. All right, so I need to hurry this up. So uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, GMC Radio. Uh, smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. Let's try to get this channel to, uh, you know, uh, grow and stuff. Yeah, so I'm done for the day. Uh, stock up if you have. Uh, if you have to stock up, try to do it during Monday through Thursday during working hours. Because obviously that's when the fewest people are going to be at the store. Uh, of course, you're in a more conservative area. I guess it doesn't really matter because, well, you know how us conservatives are. We're, 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 we're doomers and preppers by some nature. So we've already been stocking up on all, uh, everything already. So <laughs> that's probably going to be required regardless. Try to avoid going to Costco. Like That's probably the worst place to stock up simply because that's where everyone else is going. Right, and all the shelves are gonna be empty anyway, so I just go to like a local store. But I mean, it's easy for me to say because I live in New York City, so we got plenty of places constantly resupplying us, so it's not a, it's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, stay indoors, wait for the panic. Uh, we gotta find out what's gonna happen with. Actually, is it even covered? U.S. Congress Coronavirus APAC. Let's see if anyone. Yeah. Okay. So blah blah blah. Let's see. So two attendees at APAC were tested positive for coronavirus. <clears throat> uh, okay. They've been warned of possible exposure at APAC. Uh, or self court of APAC attendees. So at least is, uh, the Israeli government's doing the same thing. Uh, okay. Six, yeah. So this is actually of 16 hours ago. So they're not actually uh, reporting it yet. Um, okay. All right. Well. So be it then. Uh, all right, so I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Uh, I guess for now, uh, buy a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be waiting for the big one. Uh, and in fact, I have to read the article. So, I, uh, but yeah, we're gonna probably get ready to buy at the bottom. All right, again, because again, now it's gonna be about U.S. Congress and coronavirus uh, uh, testing positive for them. So we'll have to see. Um, so anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and always remember. Johnson Chan, JFC coin, 404 coin, and where is my thumbnail? Yeah, there's my thumbnail.